Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It is that time of the month again where I go over some of my favorite products that I tried for the month of August. Like, doesn't it still feel like the beginning of 2021? And we're coming towards like the holiday season, which is crazy. But anyways, if you want to see the beauty products I've been loving for this past month, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I love these monthly roundups of my favorites because it really is a good way for me to come back through all of the new products that I've tried that I really truly love and have been continuously grabbing for. Before I get started, we're gonna start off with our channel of the month. Now most of the time I tend to promote my fellow micro influencers because you know it's rough out here. But this month I just want to take some time to share some love with Emily Noel. I'm sure you know her channel already and are probably already subscribed but I have been enjoying her channel so much these last few months. She is such a genuine person. She doesn't do any sponsorships. In all her videos she wakes up at the crack of dawn and she just plays with makeup and I just feel a camaraderie with her because I feel like we love makeup in the same way we just like to sit down and play and she comes up with some of the most creative video ideas and I like to put her on when I'm doing my makeup and I just feel like I'm hanging out with a friend she's very much OG beauty YouTube vibes nothing too crazy not a crazy setup just somebody that you can hang out with and talk about makeup with so I just wanted to share her channel with you because I've been watching her channel religiously every single video and I just wanted to pay ode to her because she truly makes me feel like I'm watching OG beauty YouTube where it's just real and about the love of makeup. With that being said, let's get into our beauty products. We're gonna start off with my one favorite skincare product. About a week ago, I was lucky enough to do a sponsorship with Biosance, and I wasn't messing around, you guys. I told you, if I'm gonna let a skincare brand sponsor my video, they've got to be the real deal because I'm not giving up my skincare routine for just anybody, okay? Very picky over here. But this Biosance Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil has changed the game for me. I will always now have a Vitamin C Oil in my skincare routine because I just love the way that this changes the feel of my skin. Now, I have loved my entire Biosense routine. Everything has been really great for my skin. My skin has really enjoyed the products from the line, but this is definitely the product that has stood out to me the most. It really creates a tightening, more supple feel to the skin while also being extremely hydrating. You'll see in the demo here that it actually is the reason that I had such a glowy skin before makeup. So you are supposed to do this both morning and night and I really do feel like it works. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It says it's supposed to visibly brighten and firm. 100% yes and it has a rose essence to it that's really lovely when you apply it. So I've been enjoying this a lot. I highly recommend it and when I did my video on this a few of you guys told me that you also love this. It's awesome. Oddly enough I don't have any like foundation, concealer, even lip products. A lot of the products that I'm sharing this month are face powders, like bronzers, blush, and highlights, but I guess that's really what I've been loving this month and what has really stood out to me. So the first product I wasn't going to put in this month's favorite because it is fairly new, but I know it's going to be in next month, so I might as well already put it in. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm Face Palette. I do have a full-blown review on this palette if you're interested in the finer details of it, but this is what it looks like. This this is her new rendition of this type of palette. She came out with a couple a year or two ago. It's been a little while, but I think that the formula on this is stepped up. It is 
better than that first lunch. For me, I like to mix these two together to get my perfect bronze. If you don't like a shimmery blush, you won't like this. Stay away from it. But this blush is so gorgeous. It's a warm, glowy kind of peach shade with a golden turn. I did suggest if you're looking for something similar, kind of with the same effect on the cheek, to look into Milani Luminoso because this is $75. It's very, very expensive. I'm not going to lie. For four face shades, so if you kind of want that glow, glowy, peachy, gold turning kind of blush shade. Milani Luminoso is quite close, so I do recommend that. I haven't swatched them side by side, but they give me the same vibe. And then the highlight as well is also so glowy. So I did use this as my cheek color today. I have a lot of cheek colors to talk about, but this one was the winner today. I definitely wanted to put it on my face. The formula is better than ever before with these palettes, and I'm in love with the blush shade. I think it's beautiful. I typically go for more pinky type of blushes, but I love this peach right here. It's a nice change and I do recommend this if you are interested in it. It definitely impressed me even more than the ones that launched a couple of years ago. Lots of powder bronzers I came across this month that were really fantastic and it's funny because powder bronzers a lot of people can be picky about but I've tried some really good ones and all three of them they're not new and they were just new to me so the first one I did a whole dedicated video on a full face of Ilia Beauty and I definitely recommend checking that out if you're into natural makeup I found some really great gems in there and one of them was the powder bronzer so this is the drawn in night light bronzing powder well it's in the shade drawn in and it's called the night light bronzing powder but oh my gosh this is such a buttery smooth bronzer and the way that I described it was it looks like a cream product on the skin it blends in so seamlessly you cannot tell that it is a powder and that's the best way I can describe the texture of this it becomes one with whatever base product you are using it is gorgeous I like this color for my skin tone so if you're around my skin tone I do recommend this but a lot of you guys told me that Kathleen Light who I love very very much she also really liked this so yes it's so good I feel like I hadn't heard anybody talking about it but it's awesome I have a couple affordable options of bronzers as well I got this in a PR package a few weeks ago and didn't think much of it and then I used it a couple of weeks ago and I was like whoa 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 <laughs> the flower beauty heat wave luminous bronzer stunning it blends into the skin so easily as well that's something that i really do look for with these bronzers and it's the perfect tone for my skin color this is the shade sunswept it has a very natural glow to it but it doesn't emphasize texture by any means and i'm really impressed with just how quick and easy it is to apply and i just really enjoy the tone and finish of it so if you're looking for a good bronzer from the drugstore that's not too matte. I highly recommend this one. It is gorgeous. I was really excited for this video so that I could mention this because I haven't had the opportunity to talk about it recently. So just so you know, this Flower Beauty bronzer is amazing. Okay, last bronzer. It clearly is bronzer season right now. Though this is old, but another full face video that I did is with Kim Chi Chic Beauty. I was very impressed with the quality of their products, especially for the price. But this bronzer was just the bomb. So I got the shade I went to Malibu and the packaging, first off, is so cute. And this is more of a matte bronzer, so it really is not like the Flower Beauty bronzer. It's different because it is matte, but it has such a nice warm color to it. And it's a little bit more pigmented than what I'm used to for a bronzer but it blends out so easily it doesn't look over applied and I just feel like this is a bit different of a tone than I'm used to to for bronzers but it's so creamy looking and it's a delicious shade I just wanted to pass this along to you because it's a great affordable bronzer and I loved a lot of the other items that came out in this <laughs> collection that I tried I couldn't add them all in here you guys I really did edit this list which is embarrassing but I had a couple of the kimchi products in here before I was like you need to take a step back and edit really good products from that brand as well at the very very beginning of the month I reviewed the Dior fall birds of a feather collection and there were some hits and misses in that collection but amongst the hits which I am not surprised by 
where the blush is. Now there's one in particular that I really was in love with. I am going to mention the other one that I'm not as in love with, but if you're going to get one blush from this collection, it needs to be the shade Coral Flight. It's very scary to look at, but I promise you it is beautiful on the cheek. I'm going to apply it right over top because I just, I need you to see this. Ugh. So Dior, you know, they can do no wrong when it comes to blush. Every time they come out with a blush, I am just head over heels for it. It looks so scary, so red, so coral, but do you see how beautiful that is on the cheek? Ugh, I love it. It's so fresh. Again, it's not a color that I would typically go for, but it's perfect and it builds up to deeper skin tones as well. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Not to mention the stunning embossment that you get on the blush, beautiful. So if you are going to get one thing from this collection, this Coral Flight blush is amazing. They did come out with a second blush, which is Nude Flight, and I really like this one as well. It pulls deeper on the skin than it looks in the pan. The only downside to this is there is some glitter particles in there, so if you're not into the glitter particles, you won't like this, but I love the color of this but just be warned about the glitter particles no glitter in the coral flight blush this is awesome and i think it's going to be very flattering on a lot of different skin tones, right? <laughs> and one highlight that I did have to mention from the Ilia Beauty video, I was also quite shocked with this highlight. So these are called the Daylight Highlighting Powders. I have mine in the shade Decades, and this is just like the bronzer in that I feel like I'm applying a cream product with the way that it blends so seamlessly into the skin. Obviously, I do have that Charlotte Tilbury highlight on, but ugh. It just adds something. What a beautiful highlight. I am so happy that I ended up doing that full face of Ilia Beauty because there are some really great gems. Like the bronzer and the highlight. I'm still going on about them. Beautiful powder products. They don't even look like powder. All right, of course, you know, I have to talk about eyeshadow palettes. Lots of good palettes came out this month. Honestly, when I do my eyeshadow palette rankings, it's gonna be very intense. I know Natasha Denona came out with a palette. I love it, but I'll mention in my monthly palette rankings why it wasn't in this video. But of course, inevitably, I was gonna talk about the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. Have a full review on this, and I also did a three looks, one palette with this, so you can see a little bit more of the versatility of this palette. I mean, she can do no wrong. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, stunning. Now, absolutely 100%. An underwhelming color story based on what we were expecting from her. But at the end of the day, I feel like these are more wearable for me. Wearable, you know? But it's just a color story that I like. Okay, a little bit underwhelmed from what I was expecting, but at the end of the day, I really love these colors. I've had a lot of fun with this palette. Of course, the quality, impeccable. Also have been enjoying the Intensifies Artistry Wand. I said this was like a glitter glue. I stand corrected. It is more so like a mixing medium on a stick, so it's not gonna be super sticky, but similar purposes. I have enjoyed pairing this with the glitter shades in particular. From the Pat McGrath palette, I think it really does help with longevity and of course how bright they look on the eyes. I don't want to talk about it too much because y'all know I kiss Pat's butt way too much, but you know I love that. So these next eyeshadow palettes, I wasn't sure how to present these, but I definitely want to talk about how excited I was for these Huda Beauty Wild Obsessions palettes because let me tell you, these Obsession palettes have been so hit or miss, mostly miss, very few hits, and we got some hits. These are really, really good. A very nice, smooth, blendable, creamy, pigmented formulation. I wasn't sure if I wanted to feature all three or talk about my favorites. Here's the thing, Jaguar, the one I didn't pull up for this video, love it, gorgeous, so pretty. Best for one and done eyeshadow looks because when I've been trying to create more looks with these palettes, I found that that palette, it was a little bit harder for me to create actual full-blown looks, but I did like it for a one and done palette. But it's not my favorite of the three, believe it or not, and I thought it was going to be but I surprisingly have been really loving chameleon and I'm not the biggest warm tone fan if I have cool tone options but the, the quality on this is spectacular so I wear warm tone shadows just to pull this baby out I feel inspired by it and I've had a great time with this this is 
the best quality of the three. There's something about the shimmers in here that are really pigmented and rich. They run a whole mile along your arm when you swatch it, and the same thing on the eye when applied even with a brush. So I've had a lot of fun with this. I think the quality in here is spectacular, but I've also had a lot of fun with the Python palette. I've been able to create some really fun looks. Today I wanted to go to the wearable route just to show you. You guys saw on Instagram, I did create a quite bright look but today I played with mostly these three shades and this is the look that I got a little bit more wearable it's absolutely beautiful I think that the colors and shimmers that she put in here are spot on this whole layout right here incredible lots of versatility within these nine shadows I don't know I just really like this one more so for the color story and I like the chameleon more so for the quality but this launch overall was a big thumbs up. I have a $3 product for you that I have been using. It's to clean my sponge. <laughs> this is from e.l.f. and this is a solid sponge cleanser. So I just leave this by my sink. It is charcoal, so you're gonna get black in your sink. It doesn't stay there, but when you wash your sponge out, you're going to see the charcoal. I wish it wasn't, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal, it's $3. But this is just amazing to run your sponge against and to clean it and squish it. I've been doing it every time before I apply my makeup just because you're gonna wet it anyways if this is already open by my sink I might as well clean it while I'm here so this has been great it does a nice job with cleaning I used to use the beauty blender version of this but three dollars I just needed to share it stop wasting your money if you're using the beauty blender this one is great okay we are on to the final two products and these are not personal favorites but bridal season is in full swing once again in July it normally slows down a little bit because it's too hot people are on vacation and I added two new items to my bridal kit and I've been very much enjoying them so the first one is the Wayne Goss pearl palette I wasn't too sure if this would actually end up in my bridal kit I took it for a couple spins and trials and it now has a permanent home so particularly this shade right here I've been loving this for I like creating that bridal blushed look and I did do a tutorial on my bridal blushed look if you're interested so I've been using this a lot and I've been using the accompanying tones as well depending on the person and what they want this has looked beautiful on mothers of the bride and mothers of the groom lots of my brides seem to be loving the shades that in, are in here and even if I don't really use this palette if they have pink in their wedding whether it be their flowers or it's one of their wedding colors no matter what look I have on their eyes sometimes I'll just use this shade and I'll put it on the edge of their makeup look just so that it can bring in those pink tones in the wedding I haven't been been able really to use this too many times as a solo palette. I still find myself digging into my other palettes to really create the whole look. I pull a lot of brown in. Sometimes I'll pull some black in. Sometimes I'll pull different shimmers because I want like more of a pinky shimmer. So it hasn't been the only palette that I've been using but I've been really loving that dusty rose color. And then the last item, I picked this up in a Sephora haul that I did about a month ago and I told you guys I was going to put this in my kit and I love it you guys. This is the Benefit Hula Contourist Quad. It has all four shades of the hula bronzer and it's incredible i'm to the point now to where i don't even just recommend it for makeup artists i think it is great for anybody because I've been using this in multiple ways on people's faces. I've been mixing colors, blending colors. I've been using them on the eyes. I don't think you should be limited to this if you're not a makeup artist. I've been loving it. I've been using multiple shades on everybody, no matter their skin color. A lot of times I'll find that I'll contour with Hoola and then I'll warm the face with caramel and then I'll put toasted on the eye. So it's great, I've been loving it. I've 10 out of 10. <laughs> all right, you guys, there we have it. Those were all of my beauty favorites for the month of August. Let me know the products that you've been loving down below in the comment box. I'm about to go downstairs and make me a matcha. That's what I'm in the mood for. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to me already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.